so today we are going to learn about something that we always see around us guess what maybe you have guessed it right today we are going to talk about leaf now what is a leaf leaf is a thin flat green structure which arises from the node of the stem the flat green portion of the leaf is called the leaf blade or the lamina the leaf is attached to the stem by a short stalk called petiole and let's talk about the external structure of the leaf leaf base this is the first part where a leaf attaches to the stem next comes the petiole it is a long thin stalk that links the leaf blade to the stem the third comes the leaf blade or the lamina it is the green flat surface of the leaves and the fourth but last not the least the thick vein runs in the middle of the lamina as we can see in the diagram below i hope you have understood now what do you mean by the external structure of a leaf and in case you if you have any problem regarding the same you can leave your chat in the comment box below now what are the kinds of leaves there are simple leaf let's talk about it first when a single lamina is connected to the main stem by a petiole the leaf is said to be simple a simple leaf may be incised to any depth but not down to the midrib or the petiole for example guava leaves now what is a compound leaf a compound leaf is a leaf made up of two or more leaflets in a compound leaf the midrib of the leaf is branched into different leaflets and is connected by a single petiole for example pea or palm leaves as we have already discussed about the types of leaves which are simple leaf and compound leaf now let's talk about the subparts that follows the compound leaf which are mainly the palmately compound leaf and the pinnately compound leaf we can see that a simple leaf diagram is given here of a line we can also see that a compound leaf is given here the palmate compound leaf which is also known as the horse chestnut and the last but not the least it is the pinnate compound leaf example acacia now let's talk about venation what do you mean by venation the arrangement of the veins on a leaf is called the venation these are of two types reticulate venation and parallel venation you must be thinking that what is reticulate venation so let me make this clear for you all in a reticulate venation the veinlets are randomly arranged and form a complex network of veinlets example dicotyledonous plants like a rose plant now what is a parallel venation in a parallel venation the veinlets run parallel to each other example in monocotyledons like that of a paddy i guess through this you have learned what is a leaf and what are the types of leaf i hope this ppt is interesting as well as helpful for you all now let's talk about the functions of leaf it produces oxygen for survival of animals we all know that right now the other one says lower the air temperature as a by product of transpiration the third says produce food for the plants and also a source of food for the animals the fifth says remove the carbon dioxide from the air and use it in photosynthesis six says the reduce soil erosion and last it says gives shelter in the summer so these were the functions of a leaf now let's talk a little bit about the modification of leaves from the word modification you can get it that to modify means to change the leaf tendrils exist in plants with weak stems the leaves get modified into thread like structures called tendrils these tendrils climb a nearby stick or wall and provide support to the plant now what is a leaflet hook in some plants the terminal leaflets of the leaf get modified into hook like structures that help them in climbing now let's talk what is a leaf spine a few plants have their leaves modified into needle like structures known as spines the spines act as defensive structures and at the same time they also reduce the water loss due to the transpiration 
you can see that a picture of a cactus plant is given there below. I hope you are able to relate the PPD along with the presentation. These were some kinds of insectivorous plants. Few plants that require nitrogen for their development. In such plants, the leaves are modified to catch and digest insects. Few of the modifications are mentioned below. The leaf peacher, the leaf lamina is modified into a peacher-like structure. The insect is digested into the inner walls of the peacher, which secretes a digestive fluid into the peacher cavity. Example, Nepenthes. In a leaf bladder, in such plants, the segments of the leaves are modified into bladders. The inner wall is provided with digestive glands which helps in digesting the trapped insect. For example, Utricularia. You all have you as well as understood it.